Hi you guys, so I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to factor trinomials. This was the last uh, thing that we did, so just reminding us of the process of factoring. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at our first trinomial, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So what you're going to do is you create your box, and remember what we do is we take the first term, which is x squared, that goes in the first box. We take our last term, which is 6, and that goes in the last box. So from there, we're going to go to our diamond or magic x, and we find the product of the diagonal. So x squared times 6 would be 6x squared. And for the bottom, we take our middle term, which is 5x. So what we're going to do is find two numbers that multiply to 6x squared, but add to 5x. So how you do that is you think about the factors of 6x squared. So we have 6 and 1, but there's no way for those to add to 5. And then we have 2 and 3, so those will work. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared, and 2x plus 3x is 5x. You go ahead and take those two factors and place them in the box. Remember, it does not matter the order. And from there, you are going to come up with the area of the box or the edges. So you find the GCF of each column or row. So for example, the GCF of x squared and 3x is x. And then from there, you could actually just say x times what will give us x squared. Well, that's going to be x x times what will give us 2x, it would be 2. x times what will give us 3x, it would be 3. And then you check by saying, well, is 2 times 3, 6? And yes, it is. So we would have x plus 2 and x plus 3. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and do another problem. So we are going to do 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. All right. So, all right. So we are going to go ahead and put the first term in the first box, just like last time. So 2x squared will go in the first box. Negative 15 goes in the last box. Then from there, we go to our magic x. I find the product of the diagonal, so 2x squared times negative 15 is negative 30x squared. I take my middle term, which is negative 7x, and place that at the bottom. Now I need two numbers that multiply to negative 30x squared, but add to negative 7x. So I think of the factors of 30. We have 6 and 5, 30 and 1. 10 and 3, which seems like it will work. So if I make this a negative 10x and a positive 3x, that will multiply to negative 30, but add to negative 7. Remember, you put these two factors in the box, doesn't matter the order. From there, you come up with the GCF. So I'm going to go ahead and do the row this time. So the GCF of 2x and negative 10x will be 2x, and then 2x times x gives us 2x squared. 2x times negative 5 gives us negative 10x. x times 3 gives us 3x, and negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And so our factors are 2x plus 3 and x minus 5. All right, you guys, so that is a little tutorial and reminder of how to factor trinomials.